Hello, people of YouTube. This is Gray's Guitars. I am Steve Gray, and you may be able to hear that I am kind of sick, so you're just going to have to bear with me here for this video. Uh, today, we're going to be talking about some new gear for 2023 for Ibanez. They released a whole bunch of stuff. I am on their website, so we're just going to scroll down. Uh, I think Phil McKnight actually already reviewed that guitar, but... Uh, We'll start off with some signature models that are probably going to be out of my price range. Uh, Tim Henson, we got a new one here. I don't know if we have any actual prices on any of these. Um, maybe not. We might not have prices on this. I'm going to see. Uh, let's just go back up here and see if there's something where it lets me buy this. We'll find it. Let's see, Roasted Maple, Ebony Fretboard, Jumbo Stainless Steel Fret, 24, Goto Tremolo Bridge, Fish from Fluence. Yeah, this, this has all sorts of good stuff. All sorts of good stuff. Let's see here if we can, I mean it's like a silver guitar. Yeah, I don't know why it won't just let me buy the thing. That's weird. Maybe we won't be doing prices. Um, I guess we're just going to go through these. Um, we're going to ignore some prices for right now and maybe I'll talk more in depth about that in a later video. Uh, so we have Scott LePage, not sure who that is, but it looks like just kind of a fancy Stratocaster style, you know, dual humbucker. Uh, Luca Montavanelli, probably butchering that, looks like a roasted maple strat. Uh, and then we have Kiko Lurio, um, butchering names here. I know who Tim Henson is, not sure about the other ones. Uh, we have some Axe Design Labs. This is a 9-string with Fishman Fluence pad. I think this is a 9-string. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Yeah, look at that monster. Good lord, look at that monster. <laughs> that is one heck of a guitar. 5-piece neck. Uh, Wizard, let's see, Poplar. Nyato body. That's kind of like um, Ebony Jumbo Frets. No stainless steel, unfortunately. I uh, got the Fishmans as well. Yeah, good stuff. Good stuff going on there. Got some fan fret, uh, got a Floyd guitar, another Floyd guitar with the fancy things. This is what I think Phil McKnight had. Here we go, the SML721. I really like Ibanez guitars, I really hate the naming, <laughs> to be honest. Wizard Profile, Walnut Neck, 5-piece Maple Walnut, uh, Nyato, a lot of, I see a lot of Nyato. Uh, Jumbo Esco Evo Gold frets, uh, that's something where it's similar. Uh, it's harder than nickel, but not as hard as stainless steel. Uh, you get all these different switch positions. Pretty cool features. Yeah, I mean, a nice neck. I just wish there was, like, a buy it now option, and there's not. There's not, like, a, you know, like, hey, this is the price of this type deal. Um, other than that, we have some, let's see, got some fan fret action for you. Uh, more Floyds, lots of Floyds, lots of Floyd guitars. Just seeing if there's anything that really catches. I really like this blue. Let's see, made in Japan. That's pretty neat. Oh, we got you can do a black or a blue. Let's go for the blue finish because I like that better. Let's see, custom wizard got the five piece maple wedge, AAA flame maple, African mahogany body. Bound Madagascar Ebony Tree of Life Jumbo Frets. This one still no stainless steel on this one, so only the Tim Henson looks like that's getting um, the stainless steel frets, which is kind of surprising. I thought I would see more. Let's see, manual download parts catalog. Find a dealer, maybe find a dealer. Uh, let's see here. Sure. Let's just click on some random dealer in Arizona. Nope, that ain't going to really do what I want. So I guess going directly from the Ibanez website ain't the best thing in the world. Um, but, I mean, a lot of these things have five-piece necks. Uh, I mean, your signature models are probably going to be the most expensive. Let's see if we can just, like, look up this model, the uh, Tim Henson signature model. Let's see if I can copy it, the name of this thing. Uh, what the heck's the name of it? Let's see here. Ooh, Roasted Maple. I'm just going to have to type it in, T-O-G-10, Ibanez, T-O-G-10, let's see how much one of these things is going for, let's get rid of that, 1500 bucks, but it looks like it, yeah, it looks like 1500 so I'm going to say this is the 1500 range, 
This is, I know this is $9.99, so this, these are all probably around the thousand range. This RG9 PB TFG might be more expensive because it's a nine string. Um, and it's, and these are, these are all the Ibanez Edge Tremolos, so you're, you know, it's not a Floyd. They don't typically do Floyds. Uh, the headless guitars I know are a little bit more pricey, I think, too. The Q547, let's see if we can look that up. Because I want to get you, I want some price ranges for you guys as well. Uh, let's see here. Yeah, like a thousand, right around a thousand dollars. So, um, I would definitely call this upper mid tier. I mean, I don't know if I would consider this high range, um, right around a thousand dollars to this day and age. I used to consider a thousand dollars high range, but. Uh, not so much anymore. So let's see. We got all these have a lot of the wizard. You know, I see a lot, a lot of the same woods in all of these. Either maple or roasted maple, um, buganya, buginia, nyato, uh, roasted bird's eye maple. The, this one has the Evo gold frets. Um, I do recommend those. I mean, they they kind of look to a certain extent. You can say they kind of look rusty, um, but that's that's kind of what you get. <laughs> you know, it's it's. Just, Unfortunately, that's that's sometimes that's what just what you get. These I think are going to be a little bit more affordable. Let's see what the price of one of these things is. Don't know about you, but I know a lot of, well, a lot of people complain about Ibanez naming schemes. Oh, oh, I was wrong. These are actually this is way more expensive. Uh, yeah, ZZ Sounds has this bad boy for like two grand. We went up in price. Uh, let's see. Roasted Maple, Flame Body, S-Tech Roasted Maple, Abalone Dot, Jumbo Stainless Steel. Okay, so yeah, it's got the stainless steel, so they're going to upcharge you. Uh, Demar oh, that's why, too, we got Demarzios. Those can definitely get expensive. Um, pretty cool-looking guitar, you know, this Strat. A lot of Strats. I mean, I'm trying to find something here that looks out of the ordinary. Maybe the cheaper range. This might be the cheaper range, the AZs. Uh, let's take a look at this, this one. It's pink. Pink little guy. Yeah, I guess you can get it in blue too. I'm just curious what the price of these are. Cause I'm not paying two grand for a guitar. Some of you might. I personally don't want to pay two grand for a guitar. There, yeah, these are your more affordable. So this is gonna be your 350 range. Let's see what we got for specs for the 350. Maple, Pobbler body, okay. Uh, I have no idea what, what a Jatoba fretboard is. Medium frets, 22. Okay, some comfort cuts. Uh, they just call it essentials for the pickups. You know, something Ibanez makes. Strat copy, standard Strat copy. And, oh, you got some, you actually got some love for the lefties, too. Uh, we do get one hollow body guitar. Um, so the bases, I don't like this year. They had a really, really cool green base last year. Um, I guess this looks kind of neat. Let's take a look here. I know they're under like a different brand. They call them like the S, yeah, SR two hundred five L. It's the five string. Let's take a look at the price of this bad boy. I know a lot of people like the Ibanez basses. Yeah, you're talking sixteen hundred bucks. But uh, I know there was like a real. I guess they got the blue color this year is what they're going for. I know they had a really cool green one. The colors vary year to year. Uh, not really a fan of these right here, or this. That one kind of maybe. Let's see. I mean, I wonder if there's, there's got some solid colors too. Yeah, it's just solid blue. But uh, this year the bases aren't doing really anything for me. I know some people like the headless bases. Some people don't. It's a preference. Uh, you get an upright base too, which is kind of neat if you're looking for that. Uh, these are funky BT. Ooh, I like this thing. Let's see how expensive this bad boy is. Probably really expensive by the looks of it. It looks like a really nice base. Let's find out. Yeah, fifteen hundred bucks. Fifteen, sixteen hundred bucks. That that's a used one, I think. Um, possibly pushing two thousand dollars. But look, that is just that's a beautiful wood. I mean, they do some real. I don't understand why they don't do this with the guitars, because I mean, they they really don't do something this kind of specked out. So. Uh, Pagna, Purple Heart, Graph Tech Reinforcement Rods, Neck Through Construction, Curly Maple, Walnut Top, uh, African Mahogany Wing, uh, Bound Pagna Fretboard, Abalone Offset, Stainless Steel Frets on a Base, you don't see that a lot, 
Uh, premium fret edge treatment, 24 frets. Uh, let's see, you got some Agular neck and bridge pickup, not familiar with those. Uh, EQ bypass, passive switch. I mean, th this has some crazy specs going on. This is just a be beautiful looking bass. Uh, I don't know, I'm not a big fan of fives. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, I'm, I'm more traditionalist with my basses, but um, if I saw that in a guitar center or something, I'm definitely picking it up. Another Tim Henson signature, uh, the T Todd. The Todd 10, Todd 10N, let's see how much one of these things is going for. I know a lot of people were freaking out over the nylon not that long ago. Ooh, $700 for that. Yeah, that's something I'd probably pass on. Not my cup of tea. <clears throat> I'd buy an actual nylon string guitar over that, I'll be honest. Uh, we got another signature, a uh, merchant signature model. A couple of acoustics. 12 string, you know, nothing too fancy. Uh, some AE series. AEWC, it's got the flame top. You know, it's just different colors. AEG series. Uh, this is your more affordable, basically, it's the Tim Henson model without having his name on it. It's not black. You know, more of your traditional colors. We can see what one of these goes for. Doot, doot, doot. Yeah, you save a couple hundred bucks by uh, not having his name on it. So if you really want one of these, um, but you want to save a couple hundred bucks and you do, don't care if it's black or not, I mean, there you go, FRH. All-Star, just one lowly acoustic bass. And the thing I thought was interesting with ukuleles is they have the Iceman, the Ibanez Iceman. I don't understand why they don't make that guitar anymore. Like, they, I haven't seen it. I know it's like a Paul Stanley thing and, like, I think Washburn. Maybe there was some sort of issue with the body style, but um, I mean, obviously they're using it for a ukulele. Uh, then you have this PTPRE, some accessories, and that's what they got. So, cool lineup of guitars. I know we didn't like go in depth a lot. I tried to give you a few price ranges on them. Uh, my personal favorite, I really like this headless right here. I really liked, liked that one. Where's that bass? I really liked. Do, 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 do. There's that bass right there I really like. And then there was a couple other guitars. I need to go up this. I really like the way that looks. Kind of reminds me of a gem. No gems, which is interesting. You'd think it'd be a gem uh, somewhere in the lineup. But a lot of Tim Henson stuff. So there you have it. Not going to drag this out any longer. I need to go blow my nose anyway. Uh, hit the subscribe button on your way out. Thank you for watching. And as always, have a good one.